go. Got my cruise control ready. Please do not try what you just saw. It's extremely dangerous. I just died, at least in theory, so you don't have to. Anyway, I've been riding my electric bike for years, but I never get used to the cramped muscles on my hand because I have to hold on to the throttle for too long on long trips. So today I'm gonna try and make a cruise control device for my e-bike. Before I start the video, I've got to say this is like level 1 autonomous driving you still have to be controlling the vehicle at all times. It's going to be extremely dangerous if you abuse the cruise control like what you saw at the beginning of the video. With that being said, consider this video just for entertainment only. Please do not attempt to try this. With that out of the way, let's get back to the subject. So on short trips, this is not a problem because I frequently have traffic lights and when I slow down or stop at traffic lights, my right hand has a chance to take a break. On long trips, I don't have such break. Once the bike reaches terminal velocity, I still need to hold on to the throttle at all time if I want to keep at the same speed. Once I release the throttle, the bike will slow down to a halt. So the plan is to find something to hold on to the throttle so that I don't have to. I'm gonna need some kind of clamp to clamp down onto the throttle. A regular clamp would work, but it might be too tight. I might not have enough time to undo the clamp when I need to slow down quickly enough in an emergency. So whatever it is, it has to work like a clamp, but not too tight and light enough so that I can undo it quickly and slow down in an emergency. For my first try, I'm going to use a steel bicycle spoke. I wrap it around the throttle to create a curve so that it can grab onto the throttle. That's already a clamp, but it's still too weak and tends to come loose. So I make two round loops at the ends so that I can attach a spring to the two loops. The spring will create a tension on the curve so that it can grab onto the throttle tighter. Alright, so let's give it a try. On the throttle, I cut a bicycle tube and put it in here so that it will have more grip now let's put it in just like that okay All right so it's going to work like this just the throttle and then i press this down okay so that this part here rest on the brake lever and when I release it you will hold in place now I'm on cruise control mode this is not moving anywhere when I need to slow down I just push boom I slow down or I just break I can still break and let's give it a try for real let's turn on the bike and maximum speed push this down and that's the lever and that's it I'm on cruise control mode and it's hands free now I don't need to slow down boom 
I'm slowing down or I just press on the brake to stop it. That's it. Here's what it looks like from another angle. I can cruise at any speed, so if I want to go at a slower speed, just hold it right there and push it down, and I'm going at a slower speed, hands free. So with this cruise control, I can use the same hand, and with just one finger, I can engage it. I'm going to push it down like so, and it is on cruise control mode. So next I'm going to try and make the same thing, except this time I'm going to use plastic clothes hanger and I'm going to cut out this part here and then I'm going to use my heat gun to heat it up and then I'm going to bend it. I'm going to use this half inch PVC as a form so I can bend around it. It's quite hot. I'm going to clamp it down and let it sit for another 5 minutes. So here is what it looks like. Let's give it a try. Okay, just like that. And that's what it looks like. Okay. This part here is resting on the brake lever. So with this one, if I want to engage the cruise control, I cannot push this down. It's very tight, it's not moving. What I have to do is to push down from the bottom using the other hand. So, like so. And then I use my finger and push it down and twist to hold the throttle in place. Okay, if I want to slow down, boom. Okay, let's give it a try. Turn on the bike and maximum speed. And with the other hand, twist, and twist it down. I'm on cruise control mode. Want to slow down or brake? It doesn't interfere with the brake either, so it's pretty good. The advantage of this plastic cruise control is that I don't have to use a spring and it still holds on very tight. But the disadvantage is that I have to use two hands to engage the cruise control. And obviously, I can do it at any speed, not just the maximum speed, right? Or I can just slow down. So here's what it looks like from the front. The third one I'm going to make, and probably is the easiest one, it's going to use this part on the hanger. This part here fits right through the twist throttle. And I'm going to cut right here. This part here is a little bit too big, so I'm going to use my heat gun and compress it down just a little bit so that it will be tight enough. So here it is. I compress this a little bit down and also bend this connection a little bit. This is what it looks like originally, it's straight. I bend it down a little bit on here and it acts like a spring. So that will compress down on the uh, throttle. Let's put it in and give it a try. 
Okay, so that rests on the brake lever. Now I'm gonna twist and push it down to hold it in place. And if you notice, I only used one hand, I didn't use the other hand. So that's pretty good. If I need to slow down, boom. Okay, let's turn on the bike. Hands free, maximum speed. Slow down. Here's what it looks like from the front. Push down. A little bit more speed. Push it down. That's the maximum speed. You want to slow down? Boom. Or just break. And I would break just fine. So among the three cruise control that I made, this one is my favorite. It's extremely easy to make. All you have to do is to cut out a part from a clothes hanger and compress this down a little bit. And you got yourself a cruise control. It's also extremely easy to use. And you only have to use one finger and the other hands still on the handlebar, right? And that's all I have for now folks. Be safe, be smart, and don't do crazy things with this. This is extremely dangerous. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Ready to go.